When asked to show a German soldier in 1943, Google's Gemini AI image generator threw up pictures of people of color. When asked to show a historically accurate picture of a British medieval king, the image generator showed racially diverse pictures including a woman ruler. And when asked to generate pictures of a French king from the 18th century, this is what Gemini decided to show. In fact, Gemini was unable to show even Google's founder's ethnicity correctly. In less than a month of launching its new AI image generator, Google has had to pull it down. Gemini's apparent inability to generate images of white people and accurately depict historical images has led to widespread backlash. In a blog post, Google apologized for the faulty rollout and for the embarrassing and wrong pictures that were being generated. What Google says went wrong is two things. One that they tried to ensure that Gemini showed a range of people when asked for something like a person walking a dog should throw up images of a diverse set of people. But what they failed to account for are cases which clearly should not show a range of people like people who belong to a certain ethnicity. Second, the bot became extremely cautious during the training and wrongly interpreted some generic prompts as insensitive, hence overcompensating and generating pictures that were laughably wrong. But it's not just the images, even Gemini's chatbot has come under fire in India for its response on PM Modi for a question related to fascism. While the chatbot generated a proper response when it came to PM Modi, it refused to give a clear one or the same on Ukraine Zelensky and US Trump. This led to a response from Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar saying that the platform is violating IT rules and other laws. These continuous gaps have led to immense criticism globally. Elon Musk tweeted saying that Google's programming is racist and anti-civilizational. Others have said that Gemini wasn't even close to ready for release yet, questioning Google as to how they could have released the chatbot like this. Now Google has pulled the tool down and says that it will re-release an improved version soon. But this brings us to the question how exactly are chatbots really trained and what goes into ensuring that they give accurate responses that are not biased or offensive. So AI chatbots are trained on large sets of data. This is the lifeline of the chatbot. Large data set of conversations, chat logs and online forum responses is collected and cleaned up and fed to the chatbot. The AI model is made of neural networks that imitate the human brain. It uses a sophisticated series of algorithms to process these massive amounts of data. They learn to identify patterns within the training data and generate outputs accordingly. The more data it's trained upon, the more powerful its capabilities become. But if the training data itself has some bias, the AI model can pick up on skewed patterns. Most data sets do have their own limitations and biases. After all, humans do have biases. Hence, the chatbot needs to be checked and rechecked for responses for potential biases through a range of input examples. Skewed samples need to be removed. Reviewers need to test the chatbots in real-life scenarios and fine-tune the models by giving the AI constant feedback. They basically need to keep reinforcing certain principles through human feedback to fine-tune the model. Now, AI language models tend to reflect biases in their training data and also that of people who created and trained them. Most big tech companies claim they are making efforts to combat this bias and ensure fairness, inclusivity, and reliability. Experts believe that it's hard to make a completely unbiased chatbot. According to researchers in the US, ChatGPT is among the most left-wing libertarian chatbot, while Meta's Llama was the most right-wing authoritarian. However, they say that inaccurate or incorrect responses related to ethnicities and historical events point at faulty training and checks which need to be rectified. Google has lost about $90 billion in market value after the controversy over Gemini. How they come up with revised checks and balances, we need to wait and watch.